Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to do an art lesson based on the story called The Napping House. And today's art lesson will be cutting shapes and gluing them on paper and adding details. So the materials you will need here, Crayolas, a pencil, glue, your scissors, and different colors of paper. And all right, look at all those beautiful bright colors. All right, and the subject of your art project today will be a house based on the story, The Napping House. This is such a fun little book. It's about a grandmama and her grandson, a dog, a cat, a mouse, and a flea. And everyone is sleeping in the napping house. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take a large piece of blue paper. When you have your blue paper, place it down in front of you. And then you're going to take a piece of this bright green and paper, okay? And you are just going to cut a slight little curve into it because this is going to look like the grass. So now what we have, the sky and the grass. So once you've done that, you are going to glue your grass onto your blue piece of paper. Now I have done that in advance, and this is the way that looks. I also uh, cut several shapes out in advance. I am going to use my yellow color, and this square will represent the house. I'm going to place it down on my paper. I cut a triangle out of orange paper, and the triangle will be the roof of the house. So I think I am going to go ahead and glue those items down. Once you have cut your pieces out, glue them down as well. It's kind of starting to look like a house, isn't it? All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our white paper and we're going to cut shapes out that will represent clouds. And if you need to, feel free to use your pencil and draw out your clouds onto the white paper. After you have drawn them out, you can cut them out and, and set them to the side. You are going to take your brown paper and you are going to cut a long rectangle out of one. And you're going to draw another rectangle to represent another tree. And this is going to be a little bit shorter tree. And then I would like you to cut out another triangle, but this one is going to be a long, thin, skinny triangle. And that's going to be the, the, the tree that goes over, that goes on top of the long rectangle. And then I have an oval green shape, and that will represent the other tree. So once you have drawn those out and cut those out, you can then glue them to your paper. tree and another tree, a triangle tree, an oval tree, 
a square yellow house with an orange triangular roof. Now what I would like you to do is to draw and cut out a small orange rectangle. This will be the door to the house. I would also like you to cut out the same size of a white rectangle. And this will be part of the chimney of the house. And the chimney always has a cap over it on the outside. So I want you to make a tiny little rectangle rectangular piece in orange pleats. Now I want you to go back to that white paper and I want you to cut out another triangle. This will be the sidewalk of our house. So I am going to go ahead and have you cut out those shapes and then apply them to your artwork. Now you've got a piece of light blue paper and what I would like you to do is cut two squares and two smaller squares. These will represent the windows of the house. Once you have cut those out, I want you to attach them to the house. I want you to go back to that dark green paper in which you use to cut out the, the trees that are outside of the house. I want you to cut some shapes that actually look bigger than a cloud, but these, this is what it's going to look like when you're done cutting it out, and these will be the bushes that are next to the front of the house. I'm going to go ahead and attach those. As you can see, I prepared quite a few pieces in advance. There we go. I even added a little tiny blue square and I put it on the front of the door. So that window in the door looks like the windows on the outside of the house. Now you're going to go back to your yellow paper. And this time you are going to cut a circle. And then you're going to cut that circle in half. And this will be the sun. I bet you're wondering, why would you cut it in half? Because I am going to put this sun on the top of my paper. And I will show you what I'm talking about here. And once you have accomplished that, I would also like you to cut teeny, tiny, little rectangles. See, here's my sun. But the teeny tiny little rectangles, I probably have about five or six. Those are going to be glued underneath the sun so it looks like the sun rays. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then when I'm done with that, I'm going to add my clouds to the sky. And I'll probably put in a little details. You know how I've talked about outlining your artwork to make it pop? Well, this time, instead of using a really black, dark crayon to emphasize that, what I want you to do is to use the crayons that are in your box. And I want you to outline, let's say, the orange roof and the orange cap on the fire on the um, chimney, as well as the door. And I just want you to outline those shapes with your orange crayon, if you please. And I would like you to do the same with your green crayon on the green bushes. 
on the green trees. And then I want you to pick up your brown crayon. And you know what I'm going to say. I want you to outline the trees with your brown crayon. I'm going to add my clouds and I'm going to have you take a peek and see how cool this is turning out. I'm pretty excited about this piece. Putting my clouds in the sky. This is how it's turned out so far. Pretty bright and colorful, isn't it? All right, now I'm just going to outline my shapes. And I want you to do the same, if you please. And this is it. See if I can get a little close up of all of that detail in the shading in which I used crayons. All right. Thank you for joining me today. Enjoy the napping house. Thank you, everyone. Bye.